Go. <laughs> hey, my name is Matthew Murray. Um, I got a request to draw out the cervical plexus, so here it is. First, you draw out the five spinal nerves here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I like to draw this little square here to show where they're connecting. Then up here, you have the hypoglossal nerve. And then I'm going to draw some motor branches. All the motor branches will be on this side, and the center will be on this side. So first, coming from C1, is the thyroangenial hyoid. Then coming from about here is the omohyoid, the sternohyoid, and the sternothyroid. And I remember these as, oh shit, these are actually backwards. So switch these two and then it's correct. They go in that order and then it's also in order of the spinal nerves because the first two are innervated by C1, 2, and 3, but this last one is just C2 and 3. Then C3, C4, and C5 all innervate um, the diaphragm via the phrenic nerve. And this line is just to show that it crosses and temporarily hitches the ride on the hypoglossal nerve. And similarly, over by C2, it briefly crosses the uh, vagus nerve. And then, I don't know if this one's so important, but I threw it in, is the rectus capitis lateralis and anterioris anterior. So that's all the motor side of it. And then there's some sensory. So coming off from C2, there's one. And then there's two from the C2, C3 junction, which is um, coming from both spinal nerves. And then there's one from the C3, C4 junction. And that's just to keep straight which are innervated. So then these over here, I like to draw them like this. Um, so you have the lesser occipital, the greater auricular, the transverse cervical, and the supraclavicular. And I remember these from the little mnemonic oats, which it doesn't really help you until you get it right, but it can kind of confirm that it's right. I don't know if that's really helpful, but I think it's funny. Um, and pretty much that's at the cervical plexus, so yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>